Yet what was so odd is that the bottleneck was only really seen in Y chromosome diversity, which is unique to males and passed on from father to son. While in the mitochondrial DNA, which is passed down through females, researchers found no matching drop in diversity. In other words, something had happened which clearly affected a lot of men, but not nearly as many women, leading to the researchers' idea that unprecedented violence may have had been the explanation. Because if the perpetrator was a volcanic eruption, severe weather, or some other form of mother nature, you'd expect the drop in genetic diversity to be more or less equal between genders, not just in one. And really, a drop is not the best word to describe what happened to the men, as a more appropriate word would be decimated, with the scientists estimating that this event was so horrific that by the time it subsided, the effective male population in Africa, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East had been reduced by up to 95%, meaning that theoretically, only 1 in 20 men survived this purge with women possibly outnumbering men 17 to 1. No conflict in recorded history comes even close to this kind of lethality by a percentage, not even World War I or World War II. 